One historian described the beginnings of Jefferson Street as a simple wagon trail that traveled from the west side of town to the river. But as the nation entered into the Civil War and emerged on the other side of it, um, it became something different, something much greater. Welcome to the North Nashville. What's been up and coming? Home to amazing teachers, historians, and artists. You name it. It's all here. A legacy. A real representation of a divine excellence. Where the soul is alive and the culture is fluent. These are our roots. Forever a center of activity for the community. Simply said, the core, the heart, the essence. Welcome to North Nashville. Jefferson Street was at one time the black mecca of Nashville. We were definitely community based. Everything was centered around the community. We had everything that we needed. Uh, we could live our whole lives right here on Jefferson Street, and some people did. We've been in business since 1966, and it was started by my father, which was Earl Price Sr. We're here to stay in the community, and, and what a lot of people don't realize is we've been here for over 56 years, you know, in a business. So we've been through the ups and downs and the highs and lows. Al Cabalon and several other names are original names for Africa. We wanted to focus on things that were from our history. Um, so my father was opened up the shop to focus on creating positive images and highlighting the rich history of people from the African diaspora. I wanted to be able to provide an environment where it wasn't just a place they came and got their hair done, but it was a place they was able to talk about whatever they that was on their mind. I mean, I have the opportunity to build relationships with women where we laugh together, we cry together, and you know, we have fun at the same time. But then sometimes it's just moments where they just need to relax. And I knew that's the kind of environment I wanted to set for them. So we chose Jefferson Street because it is a historically uh, African-American neighborhood. Uh, it's, it's the mecca of, of, of African-Americans in Nashville. So uh, it was very, very important for us to put this cocktail concept on Jefferson Street uh, due to the history of Jefferson Street and what it what it meant and what it still means. Woodworking was my hobby. Uh, I actually majored in industrial arts and technology at Tennessee State University. And woodworking was my specialty. And so um, as a hobby, I began to make frames for friends and family out of my home. I never dreamed that I would have a business, you know, on Jefferson Street when I was coming up, but it, it just it just happened that way. Love being a part of Jefferson Street. Uh, I love interacting with the customers, and uh, we've seen other businesses grow, you know, along with us. Where else would you be besides Jefferson Street? Besides here, where are you gonna get the love, the family? This is family right here. They take care of me, I take care of them. Well, I really never thought about a newspaper or a magazine. Like they were reinforcing things that happened that was bad in our community. And then I, I told my husband one time, there are good people in this town that are educated. We have Fisk TSU, American Baptist College and Meharry Medical College. Why can't we let these folks know that we have educators in this town?
We were always north, a people of faith, working to keep our hearts strong and our strength great, important to the world, a preservation of wisdom, a reflection of what music is, what miracles are, and what it means to grow. Historical, authentic, prepared for the main event, a major attraction, you're seeing it. The pride of this place, essential to the progression of what's coming. A value that's valid, that's powerful, that's dominant, that's celebrated, that's noteworthy. Most importantly, well respected. Products of a magical atmosphere, of quality and spirit. What can I say? You always knew it. Thank you.